We'd finished recording Hunky Dory and I'd sort of put it to bed, not expecting anything to happen for six months. David had to sign a record deal and all of that kind of thing, so nothing was going to happen with the album. It wasn't going to be released for a while. It was just a couple of weeks after finishing it that I ran into David on the corridor at in Trident, and he said, we're going to go in and record another album. I said, are you joking? He said, no, it, 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 they want me to record another album. And he said, but I don't think you're going to like this album quite as much. And I said, why? And he said, well, it's going to be more rock and roll. He said, it's going to be more, and I've never quite remembered whether he said Iggy Pop or Velvet Underground. I didn't know who either of them were at the time, so it made a cool difference, basically, to me. But uh, he was wrong. I, it's, rock and roll was always at my heart, so of course I loved it. I think the only difference that I really saw between Hunky Dory and Ziggy was more electric guitar, a bit raunchier, along the lines of Queen Bitch. Queen Bitch would have fitted perfectly onto on Ziggy, in my opinion. Uh, and so it was just, it was moving on. I don't think David's writing style had changed at all, because I think most of the stuff he had for both albums was way earlier. It was just different thought process, a little heavier, and move on. For me, Ziggy stands together as an album more than any of the other things that I did with him. As a complete entity, I think it works really well from beginning to end. There are songs on, on other albums that I like more than any of the songs on, on Ziggy, but as an album, it, it, it holds together really well. Mm -hmm.